everybody. In this video, we're just going to walk you through a couple of things to set up Autodesk Fusion 360. This video is made for my students at my particular high school, so your teacher may have a different method. If you're watching this video, just be careful about that and make sure that you understand, um, you know, some of the basics that I'm going to walk you through, but then know that, you know, obviously some of the settings are going to be different. First things first, when you open up Autodesk Fusion 360, it's going to ask you to log in. You need to use your student account in order to do this, your student email address. The reason is, is because as a student, you have free access through Autodesk's student community. You can download software on any computer. Also, you're going to use the same login on your MacBook, on the Windows laptop that we have in our classroom, whatever computer it has. Everything is saved to the cloud. So no matter what computer you jump on, you'll be able to access your files. So I I just prefer you to use your school email and your school password. That way it's just easy to remember. One less thing to have to, you know, try to write down or something. Um, it, it'll say at the top when you're logged in, if you set up a profile, which you should do first, it'll say your name here, and you'll notice that it has all sorts of things, some preferences and some stuff like that. Next to it is a help menu. I do encourage you to use the forums and to search for their help because the help with Fusion 360 is fan. Fantastic. Whenever I have trouble and I'm trying to figure out how to do new things, um, because Fusion 360 is still kind of a new program for me, I just go search the help and it brings me to all kinds of great videos. A lot of them are like one or two minutes in length. Um, you can submit ideas if you think there's something you need to see to make things better. Um, I've gotten some ideas that have been, you know, liked and things like that, which are interesting um, to see, and some other ideas that you have here. It'll also show you job status up the top right corner. Um, the job status, if I click on that, it says I'm working online, and that's what it should say most of the time. Okay. Um, what I want to show you first, though, has to do with project folders, and it has to do with sharing. First thing you're going to do for me, if you're in my class, is we're going to come over here and show the data panel. And it's going to pull up a list of all the different folders that you have uh, to work with. And so right now, I'm probably just going to say my first um, project, if you've never done one before. So um, you're not going to have that many here. You're going to start off by clicking New Project. And you're going to name it last name, comma, first name, LNHS. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. You're going to hit enter. It's going to create a project folder for you and everything that we do for this class. Now, if you do something on your own for fun, you don't have to use this folder. In fact, I don't want you to. I want you to use this folder only for class projects because then when we get inside, by double clicking on it, you're going to go up here to people. And you're going to add my name, brett.kisker at lps53.org. You're going to add me and send me an invite. And that way I have access to this entire folder. Now, once you have that in place, you can come back to data and you can create a new folder. And for instance, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go to activity 4.2. So you're going to type in 4.2 model creation. We're going to follow the names of the assignments that we have in the class. And the parts that you create for 4.2 model creation are going to be inside of this folder. So I'll double click to get inside of it. And now I'm ready to start making models. Okay. So that's the first thing I want you to do is make sure you have folders set up so I can access them. And again, I'm not going to go digging through your stuff all the time. You're going to turn it in different ways, but this will give me the ability to go find files if you're having trouble with something and you need my help. There we go. There's the first video. That'll get you started. You should have a folder named last name, comma, first name, LNHS, ready and shared with me.